the slate. What is up, everyone? Hi, Gloria. How are you? And instantly, I feel like I have to sneeze. <laughs> How are you guys? Good? I actually was saving something for you guys. Really freaking interesting. And in the middle while I was sitting here in the car with the lights off, trying to uh, get the thumbnail ready to post for, for YouTube, for the live stream, three guys came out of a mausoleum and they did not work here. Oh, thank you so much, uh, so much, Chris West. I appreciate that. Oh, there we go. So the place is amazing. The only thing is, is that uh, I'm not the only one here. And the thing is, I was told that there's people that come to graveyards and they try to rob you. Well, they, they, yeah, they pretty much would try to rob you. And it usually happens in New York, New Orleans, which is where I am at. But damn it, I wanted to get to one area and there's this guy that's on foot. And the thing is, he, he also came out twice when I was in the car. And the first time he came out, I'm about to park at the same spot. I'm going to show you guys where he's at. He's with a book bag. And he came out walking towards me, and uh, he, he, I thought he just kept walking. But this guy went, did a circle, came back to the mausoleum, and just circled back around me again and was walking towards my car while it was outside the car. So at that point, I was like, let me get back in the car. Um, so it's suspicious right now. I'm a little bit, uh, I'm all kind of like, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get out now. But I am going to show you where I'm at. Let's we'll just kind of see how the night goes. So, hey, Ash. Hi, Robert Wisely, Don Bell, and Cyberdyne599. That reminds me of Cyberpunk, that one game coming out. Let's show you guys what I'm looking at right now. You guys are going to freak out. If you guys like mausoleums the way I like mausoleums, wait till you see this. Hold on. There we go. Look at this. There is mausoleums everywhere. Oh, no wonder. I thought the live chat uh, paused. Be careful, it's rough. Yeah, I noticed that. I, now with this guy that just came out, that made it really shady. So now I'm just like, I don't know. Look at this. They are up to no good. Please be safe. Watch your sex. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't even know if I'm going to get out of the car at this rate. I'm going to turn off the light on the inside of the car. I'm gonna open up the side windows. But. <laughs> Love you, Franco. Hey, Haley, how are you? I don't know if you guys know who uh, this guy, Ice Poseidon, is. I cannot believe I ran into him. Do you guys know who Ice Poseidon is? I put a post up, but I don't think a lot of people will probably uh, know about him. No? Yeah, he's get out of the car. I, I'm, I'm planning on getting out of the car. I just want to make sure everything is all cleared because there's somebody else here and I'm not ready to get robbed yet. Because I, I'm not in the best situation. Let me unplug that. Alright. If anything happens to me while I go outside, the suspect now oh, maybe I'll catch him on camera let me not <laughs> are you at Terry I'll try to come see you no I'm not at the canal cemetery I don't even know what the name of this graveyard is I'm not even kidding <laughs> Oh, great. And the car honks every time I get out. Look at this. I just feel like I'm going to see this guy running out of the forest. Hey, Frankaholics! Frank, just do it quick. Alright, let's just do it quick. Sorry, I'm just watching my six, guys. Okay. Took that off. There we 
right there. Be safe. Hope this doesn't need to pay for meds and bandages or legals. No, everything I'm doing is definitely legal. Look at that. All right. I'm going to get back in the car. Because, uh... I'm definitely pushing it. Damn it. I'm upset because I feel like I feel like they're watching me now. And that wasn't the point of the live stream was to being watched. Whoa. Love your videos. I'm always over there. What's good, Red? Come eat at two Tony's. You're the man. I'm just upset because I wasn't expecting to see someone out here. I'm going to go towards the area so you guys can see what I was talking about with the weird guy. Oh, thank you, Lisa Fear. I appreciate it. Fist bump. <laughs> here, I'll give you a fist bump, Lisa. I got a new light for the camera, too. We're going to go in there. Let's do it. I'm going to go there. High beams ready. Hey, Mom, how are you? Hey, Frank, could you give my dad, Stu, a shout-out? We watch every episode, and we love your channel. Stu, shout-out, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, Let's go this way. All right. Let's see if this guy is still here. I'm supposed to be walking around this graveyard, not staying in the car. This is not what I was signing up for. But, oh wow, look at the size of that one. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. Look at these. They look like little houses. I couldn't believe the guy, because the guy that was here, I asked him, I was like, do you guys mind if I'm here overnight? And he says, well, if you're going to be here after hours, the gate closes at, uh, at a certain time. But you go to the automatic doors and they'll automatically open for you so you'll be okay. And I'm like, so it's okay that I could be here after hours? And the guy's like, yeah, you'll be all right. Um, just go ahead and just, I guess, leave throughout the automatic gate doors. Um, I got to find where this graveyard is, the, the tomb where I was just at. This sucks because I, I was actually planning on getting out of the car. But what scares me more than ghosts are people. And cops, but people mostly. Well, actually, no cops. And then people. But people now in this particular case, because I actually have permission to be here. So the game's changed. So now it's people. And, uh, I got stuff on me. And I'm nowhere near the home, because you definitely don't need to be alone. Well, I, I like doing my videos alone, because I, I can focus more when I'm doing my paranormal stuff. Don't get me wrong. I love it just as much doing it with people. But I, I, I just like there's a certain way when I do it alone, I could be more creative and, and put things together. Okay, look, that's the pyramid tomb, okay? That's the pyramid tomb right there. This guy, see right in here is another tomb in there. I want to show you guys inside. Where's my flashlight? See? Look at that. That actually goes into like a cave-like structure in the inside. So you could actually, you can't walk in there because they locked it. That's actually the picture of the thumbnail that I use for this video. Which is terrible because I'm planning on making another video out here tonight. And then look at this one. thing is, is that I saw this guy come out of this tomb. See that right up there? That, that's the mausoleum the guy came out of. But he came running out, jogging towards me. Mad, it looks so suspicious. This guy's probably hiding around tombs now. He's probably pulling a Franco. That's what I do. 
I hide around tombs. Look at all these structures. Oh my god. There is like structures everywhere. Look at this one. saw him. He's inside the tomb. He is inside the tomb. I didn't want to make it mad suspicious. But this guy's inside the tomb. I didn't turn on the camera or the lights because I didn't want to piss him off. But he is hiding inside the tomb. He's just sitting in there with a book bag. Alright, I'm not going to mess with this territory. I was going to show you that one place. But let me get to an area so I can actually read the chats. I just don't feel safe getting my eyes off the road. In case this guy does come running after me. So let me drive to a complete other side of this graveyard. What if I just spoke to him and just be like, hey. No, that's still. You just don't do that. The last time I met somebody in a graveyard. It was the most creepiest shit in the world. Uh, we should go back to the one where the chair moved. I'm not. I'm not. I'm so far from that place. Right now, I'm in... <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, but I'm in... Oh, I put it on the thumbnail. But for those of you that didn't read it, I'm in New Orleans. Let me turn the camera around here. I'm in New Orleans right now. In one of the haunted sides of this town. There's so many other graveyards that I would love to have been into. But the problem is that I couldn't because... That's creepy. Look. Right behind this thing. I couldn't because everything closes at a certain time. You're amazing. Love you from Finland. Oh, thank you, Melissa. I police I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Melissa the violinist. And I love the violin. I, I wanted to try to play the violin. Then I just stuck with the piano. But the violin is an amazing thing. There's like candles out there. No, of course anybody could have just lit that. I'm not trying to say anything. I'm just... Stating the fact that there's candles out there. Love you from our awesome videos. Thank you so much. I'm trying to find a good safe location where I could feel safe in exploring. Uh, can I go through there? That looks like grass. Oh, let me not. Here, I'll turn on the light for you guys. Right now, I'm multitasking here. See, I, I see why it's so weird now being in a graveyard at night from a different perspective. Because when I saw that guy chilling in that mausoleum by himself, just sitting there, that's like, yeah. I, I mean, just, <laughs> I don't know if it's so different between me and him, but. I just don't think our motives might be the same. I think that's a big mausoleum there. But I can't go inside of that one because that's not a, an open one that's just all sealed. Or maybe it is. Should I do it? Should I go out? No, I don't think he's ghost hunting. That guy had a, a book bag on. <coughs> that guy had a legit book bag on. And he was by himself, like, hiding inside the tomb, which was weird. By the way, I am very, 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 very sick. And uh, if I sound a little scrumptious or if I go to sneeze and I get off the camera, trust me, I'm doing you guys a favor. You don't want to see this. It's not the best thing in the world. Hey, Franco, nice to see you again. How are you doing? And I'm glad in your, your hunting. Love all your videos. You're amazing. Best. Oh, I'm not the best. But thank you so much, Lisa. I appreciate it. I'm doing pretty good. Just coming off of being sick. It was a terrible sickness because I, I had to drive to New Orleans, which is like nine hours, I think, nine or ten hours, driving to New Orleans and then trying to, to manage. Oh, it wasn't the easiest in the world. I'm going to go walking. <laughs> Fist bump. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I was going to do it the other way around. All right, let's go for a quick walk.
Oh, I left the car on. Sorry. There we go. Come on, turn around. There we are. Okay. Maybe I should bring my flashlight. I mean, I have one, but maybe I should bring another one. Oh, there you go. Do you believe in love after love? All I need is for this guy to walk up on me. Hey, yo! Shorty, what your name is? Uh, let's go this way. I don't want my light reflecting too much. Man, I don't even want to be here. I want to be checking out the mausoleums. You mean I... Oh, actually, maybe I do want to be here. That is freaking spooky. Now, this place has a lot of history to it as well. After seeing you... After seeing the lost tapes, I'm terrified of New Orleans and zombies. <sighs> Frank, <laughs> let me go zooming down to the bottom here. This isn't the same area with the old lady. I'm literally down a, in a hallway. Do you believe in love after love? Oh my god. Why did my own reflection scare me? That's locked. I know. There's some tombs. I found another tomb. I got a lot on video. But there's a lot more. I wanted to show you, I especially wanted to show you guys for the live stream. All right, I'm gonna avoid this area. I'm gonna go back down this one because I don't want my light reflecting off the other area. Yeah, I'm a little jumpy because now I know I'm not alone out here and I don't like that. I didn't find out till the last minute right when I was about to start the live stream. But there was somebody else in here. And the fact that he's just chilling inside of a tomb. With a book bag and hands all up in his pockets. Which. Yeah, that's just. I just don't feel right about it. And I trust my instincts. I survived so far with my instincts. Certain things I'm willing to push. If I'm alone, I could do crazy things. But. Things are much different when you're not alone. All right. This is how it looks like for me now. Look at this. Yeah, he could probably be homeless. But, uh, there's also a chance that he may not be. And that's the part that got me worried. All right, I'm going to get out of this area only because I've been here for too long, which gives him enough time to catch up. Let's go to this area. I'm literally shitting bricks. I don't know what I'm scared of. I'm thinking about this guy. Now I'm thinking of... You guys mentioned old lady. So now I'm thinking like that old lady's going to come out of nowhere. Mijo! Tu sabe de señor. I don't know if that's a... A car light down there. Look out for pumpkin head. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Let me check my... Uh, Make sure I didn't miss any super chats. If 
fist bump. Okay, I got the fist bump. All right, so I am still. Look out for pumpkin head. Thank you, Custard, the pip, the pimp cat. I like that one. I would be very suspicious of anyone who's walking around in cemeteries at night. I and I get it. I'm one to talk because that includes me too. I can't tell if those lights. I think there's somebody walking. Yep, that's not a. That's not from across the street. That's coming this way. Let me drive down there. I'd rather just drive down there and face it. Do you believe? Oh man, I'm ready to fight. I think there's bats in the air, but when they fly around, their wings flapping. Sounds like footsteps. So I, I keep feeling like something's going to run up and attack me. All right. Hold on, guys. Oh. This video is not sponsored by Ford. off for now oh sorry that's my light let's go see what that light is up there because that's got me off guard all right uh what are you guys saying here Frank, my husband and I watch all your videos. Please be careful. I am trying. <laughs> That's the whole point is that I want to be careful. But I can't shake it off that this guy's sitting in a tomb behind me. I should have just approached him. Broke the silence. Is that a car behind me? See the, on my windshield, my wind view mirror or whatever? No, I think those are houses. I know, I know, I'll put it on. I think that's like the main entrance there. Mm -hmm. oh. Hold on, let me check something here. Sorry guys, I'm back. I thought that was like a car light, but I think that's just for the main entrance. Look at the size of that one. Oh my god. See, there's still cars out here. You know what? I'm going to walk around this area of the graveyard first. I know the really cool stuff are on the other side. I I'm going to see. If I, don't, I don't know how I'm going to make my way over there. Because I still wanted to record a creepy video being over there after the live stream. So I could make you know my paranormal video and go explore it but it's I don't know how I'm gonna do that when there's somebody out here unless I hide the car look at this look at this they had a very crazy experience sweet Melissa was there somebody else here like paranormal cool let's do it you won't die by by a ghost or anything you might get creeped out and some weird things might happen, but you won't die. Oh, I can't say that word on YouTube. Dang it. I might just get demonetized now. <laughs> but you, you can't, you know, yeah, nothing bad could actually happen. Uh, all right, I'm going to go park it up here. Just because there's more cars here, I feel a little bit more safer to doing things right here on the side and we're getting out of the car and we're exploring this I do not want to have a not interesting live stream we're going to make this live stream fantastic Frank are you a Mexican or a Mexican I'm a Mexican let's do it I'm just kidding I'm not Mexican but 
I got that from Desperado. It sounded cool. All right. I'm trying to make sure all my... Oh, cool. I got a pocket knife on me. So I have some sort of protection. I love your cemetery explorations. I do too. I like doing them. And I'm glad you guys like watching them. Look at this. That is... I love this stuff. This is so cool. Don't want you throwing up black stuff. Let's walk in between the tombs. So, one thing I wanted to tell you guys, I went to... The, uh, the graveyard area where that the main queen of voodoo is buried not to, not in hers because hers was just like hell to get into but around hers oh hold on oh I get it that's a sewer but around her tomb area, the, for the lady that's like the queen of voodoo or whatever. And so, I started, again, if you guys see something, let me know that I don't see. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> I love this graveyard. Oh my God. I feel like I'm in a maze. Yes, I, I actually went to the tomb with the one that had all the X's all over it. And um, isn't that a, a sign of voodoo? I even asked you guys just to be on the safe side. Let me make sure no cars are coming because I'm seeing light reflecting off the car. Oh, okay, that's probably just the moon. All right. Oh, thanks, uh, Elan Daniel. I appreciate that, man. He sent me a, a PayPal thing. I saw the vibration. I got to start paying attention to that because sometimes people send a PayPal and I don't see it because I don't look. So I just got to watch for any vibrations that I get. Hey, Hero, what's up from America? Indonesia is a very beautiful place. way come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination take one look and you'll see all right well you know what I'm gonna point the camera oh that way that's much better Ooh. all right call to say Jesus Mary Mar Mary Lavu is the queen of voodoo she puts their exes on the tombs to ask her for assistance yes I found a couple of tombs that had X marks is written on them they're in the video now in the video I did I was not aware of this I just found it extremely ironic that there was X's written on there so I kind of threw it out there and I kind of asked questions for you guys to answer for me but uh, there's a whole bunch of X's on a whole bunch of tombs over there so maybe that was written from uh, Maria uh, De La Voom or De Voom. You know who I'm talking about. But uh, yes, that happened. What's up, Will M? And then I found a whole bunch of voodoo dolls, like little tiny voodoo dolls and trinkets and stuff. I did an overnight uh, ghost expiration at another location that I was at. Um, and that one came out perfect. However, there was also people there too. Like, random people would come in. And then there was, like, a whole crowd of, like, 50 people showing up because it was, like, a ghost tour that I was not aware of. This one here, no one's here besides me. Of what I thought, nobody was here besides me. Now, I'm here. Woo. It's a guana. All by myself. This is what I'm looking at. I'm literally going in. Oh, this like a game. I swear if a face pops out, 
I am going to kiss you. All right. Not really going to kiss it. I was kidding. But. Come to the Philippines. Like there's many cemeteries here. I am totally down for the Philippines. The memory of Dale. Okay. Oh, this is creepy. Uh, ¿Qué pasó? Nada, yo soy... Uh, oh, I can't say exploring in Spanish. I don't know how to say it. Uh, how do you say exploring in Spanish? If you guys write it, I could probably catch a hint. Um... Explorando, there we go. Soy explorando a un cementerio que tiene mucho. Oh, here's a good one. How do you say mausoleums in Spanish? Now, let me see if I can try to read that one. <laughs> Where are you at, Franco? In a big cemetery. I actually didn't get the name of this one. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's such a cool. This will be a good, like, a uh, little screenshot of a wallpaper. Moselio. Oh, there you go. Okay, cool. Yo soy explorando a un moselio en un cementerio que yo empiece que alguien está aquí. No, yo no empiece. Yo sabe que alguien está aquí adentro que él me está following. He's following me. Él, él está caminando atrás de mí, pero yo no sé si él está bu es buscando a mí. I suck at Spanish. God, I wish I had subtitles that just went off in the bottom of the screen in yellow for you guys. I might even have to read what I'm saying because I'm pretty sure Google Translate won't even catch it. <laughs> I'm probably going to see a lot of question marks. Do what to who? <laughs> so freaky. Tell me about it. Uh, I feel like getting my car closer just so... I could be a little safe. Wow. What the hell was that? I think that was just an echo. I see what looks like a light. down there this reminds me of interview with a vampire when uh louis is like becoming a vampire and he says look with your vampire eyes and then he looks up there and the little statue moves i think it was a a lady statue but still creepy um Oh, I hope I'm not missing my super chats. Let me see my super chats. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, look out for pumpkin head. Hey, friend, Peter and Mia here. Always watching and be careful, amigo. Thank you, Mia. And I love your cemetery exploration, Francoholics. Thank you, LJ Stevens. And uh, Random Mom 5 says, Mary de la Vu is the queen of voodoo and she puts X's on the tunes and she asks for assistance. Thank you for the super chat, guys, and also thank you for letting me know because I, again, I'm learning off of you guys. I'm becoming an expert in your eyes. I wouldn't even say expert, but, oh, come on, show me the chats. Top chats, there we go. All right. There's a truck out there. Maybe I shouldn't be out there. Oh, there is. Uh, I'm not going to go that way. Because <coughs> then they're going to think I'm just as suspicious as the other guy. And we will not have that here. We cannot have that here. All right, let's go over here. I keep thinking someone's going to jump out in front of me. Uh... 
Don't forget to put pennies on tombstones. I, I didn't bring penny. Oh, pff, I almost hit a bug. I didn't bring any pennies. But I, I should have. Um, let me get closer. All right. Let me get closer to my car. My car has this thing that if my car has, like, uh, I guess if, I don't even know what came with it, but I downloaded this app for the phone, and if something pulls a door handle open or even shakes the car or something, it'll tell me that something's shaking the car or the car move or a guy with a lot of exhaust vibrates, and I just got a notification. <laughs> Hold on. Wow, that was weird. I was looking down there and I saw what looked like a, like if somebody was walking by, but you would just see like their leg only and then quickly go behind a wall. Could have been my own eyes playing with me, but it still looked like I'm gonna check it out after I check the car roll. Sorry, I'm like Rambo sixing. Everything tactical heavy style. All right, it's looking good. I'm a little jumpy, a little nervous. Two drops of pee came out, but daddy's doing fine, darling. Let's keep moving forward. I want to see what I saw over here. Uh, how are you guys holding up? Love from Australia. It's not fire, it's just rain. That's good, kind of good. Too much rain is bad. Um, yeah, what's up? Don't step in, no dog poop. I'm not stepping in dog poop. Not this time. That was I'm nowhere near a place where I could get a Walmart. All right, I'm gonna walk through here. You're so crazy. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Okay, that's my light reflecting. Sandy Spiritu. Alright. Franco. Uh, especial en español. Yo no hablo español mucho. Yo puedo hablar un poquito, pero yo no puedo hablar como perfecto. Y yo no. I mean, I could try a little bit, pero. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, be safe, Franks. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. I might, man. You know what? If I didn't work on Monday, I would spend the week out here and just do videos out here. Solid, good videos. I would milk this place dry until we're ready for the next big thing. I even found a castle, but that's actually somebody's house. I didn't know that until the last minute. Um, let me just wash my sticks here. All right, let's see what you guys are saying. Um, Sean Schmidt or Schmidt? Let's just say Sean. Frank, I think her name is Marie Laveau. Just saying. Yeah, I am trying. <laughs> let me. I already forgot it. Marie Laveau. Marie Laveau. Need more SB11s, but it's awesome. I don't even know what an SB11 is. You are braver than me, Franco. Shout out. I got you, Yvonne Potter. Do this full time. Oh, I'm working on it. I am working on it. I think it might happen sooner than most. I had to call out Thursday. Well, I didn't call out. I was here. But I left. Yo, did you guys hear something too? Or is it just me? I don't know if you guys heard anything. SP11 is a spirit box. Gotcha. I know which one you're talking about. I think Omar's got one. I want to 
see if I could probably grab one of those. I heard something weird out here. It sounded like an echo of a voice. But the cars is what can throw me off. Love you, you gotta stay safe. Um, good at what you do. Well, good at not getting killed. Oh, my night vision. Let me grab my night vision. That's actually a good idea. Just making sure I'm not being followed. Let's go. That is a fantastic idea. Who said that? I'll give you a shout out, because that was, I forgot about that. Um, Carl Abrigo, or Carol Abrigo. Sorry, Carol, doing multitasking. All right. Franco, help. <laughs> With what? Hey, Franco, I'm a huge fan. Hold on. I'm an odd fellow. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty odd. I don't know what happened to me. I, I've been doing things like this since I was a little kid. Like when I used to, my parents used to take me to church. I would always sneak out of the children's classroom and uh, just go behind the church for some reason. I don't know, I just like the serenity of it. It's actually quiet. But one thing I notice is that when I get surrounded by a lot of people, I get anxiety. But when I'm in places like this, I feel like I'm free. I feel like I could breathe. It's weird, I don't know. I, I guess, I'm pretty sure some of you guys can relate. Uh, I watch all the way from Tr Trinidad. That is awesome. It's good to know that people are watching me from that far. Oh, look, a dog. Oh, I love dogs. Oh, those are really detailed dogs. All right. Let's grab the night vision. Let's go this way. I'm slowly but surely attempting to, oh, that's weird. I just got a weird cold spot. Like this whole area here just got really cold. Yeah, I guess it is social anxiety. I start sweating and I feel nervous. Oh my God, you scared me. But I know I said hi to you earlier, but you still scared me. All right. All right. She is. Padre Santo. That's what I need, and I'll probably use this too. I have, this is like my ammo crate box. And I think that should be it. Uh, yeah, that'll be it. Yeah, I. it's some sort of exact and the thing is that it sucks because when I'm at work I try to avoid being around too many people and this is kind of why I like to work with an engineer because I just work with equipment but when I had to work over call centers it was it was pretty uh that was hard because everybody would just stare at you and then you try to get it out of your head and then you just start sweating because you're nervous you don't want to screw up and you get like a thousand ideas and go figure, I end up becoming a YouTuber. I, I don't know how this works, but I feel more comfortable with YouTubing. It's simple. I guess I get to hide behind a camera. But you should find Nicolas Cage's pyramid tomb. There is a pyramid tomb down there. I didn't think it was Nicolas's cage, uh, Nicolas Cage's, but it, uh, I didn't. I can't say it isn't. I didn't really look at it too much. 
All right. Oh, that is so creepy. You see the statue up there on top of the tomb? That's <laughs> so freaking creepy. Let me uh, turn on the night vision for you guys. Um, there we go. I'm gonna turn off the light. There you go. See how well you guys can see when it's all dark? Probably start recording just in case something creepy happens. Frank, this is your live stream? Because usually when I see this in editing, it throws me off. Frank, this is your live stream. So if you're recording and you're hearing this, this is just your live stream recording. Not footage you took. Girl, girl, whatever you need from me. Right now, I am ghost hunting for those of you that are new to the live stream, and uh, I am actually in a very, very naughty little girl. Sorry, that was from an uh, interview with a vampire. Right when I said it, it kind of just threw me into the moment. I'm a big movie buff. I like, I like that movie. That movie was really good. But I'm in a very big graveyard. And uh, this is this is nothing. What I'm showing you, oh my god. Stupid phone vibrating. Holy crap. Uh, there we go. So I'm like a big movie buff. Uh, what was I saying? I wasn't even talking about movie buffs. But there's somebody over there hiding in a tomb that I don't know if he's still out there. But I'm about to go check in a little bit. If that guy's sleeping in a tomb, damn, I give him props because I haven't done it. But I just don't know what his motives are. He may not have any bad motives, but for safety and security, so I can keep doing what I do, I have to be cautious. So I'm probably going to go over there, but I'm going to still maintain myself inside the car. And I'll probably use the night vision. <laughs> Is that as big as it can get? Well, I, I probably could zoom in on my camera here. Hold on. Whoa. Wait. Okay. There. <laughs> this is severely awkward for me. I'm going to stop recording it here. There we go. Please like the... Oh, yeah, if you guys can... Please like this live stream. Um, it definitely helps me out. It actually shares my videos. For those of you that don't know, I didn't know about it. But uh, yeah, just leave a little like there. So my work doesn't go in vain. And I can continue. Alright. Are you guys down for me to drive to the other area? And start exploring? I got you, Franco. I only like if it, not to be rude, I only like, listen, you are perfectly fine. You do what you do. I think everybody should do what you do. You don't want to like it. I am completely with you. There's been times that I, well, I don't really like disliking anybody's videos, but I just probably don't watch it. I'm going to turn on my camera for now. I'm going to get to my car. There we go. Come on, clear up. All right, let's get back to my car. And we're gonna drive over to the other area. Don't get me wrong, this area is beautiful and I'm glad I actually got to explore here a little bit so you guys can see how these tombs look. But this is nothing 
nothing whatsoever as what's in the other side. Like I just showed you, the tomb. But the thing that makes it hard is that there's some guy there. But I don't know if, I just don't know what he's doing. He's just sitting there and he keeps walking past me with a book bag, making it that much uh, awkward and weird. Oh, stupid sewer keeps freaking me out. All right. All right, bear with me. And I brought this. <laughs> I've been loving that. And I got the spirit box too. With the speaker and a K2 meter. At the same time. All right. Here. My husband and I love your videos. You're amazing. Thank you, Yuritsi. I appreciate that. I, I'm trying to be. <laughs> Let's start driving. Oh, I got this thing on. Oh, nope. I thought I had it on sport. There we go. Okay. Let us go and say we did. You guys are cool with me keeping the camera up front, right? Trust me, it's much more interesting that way. You should get a home alone to talk boy. I was actually watching a video on that. Where this guy actually bought one. I would like a pizza. Fries. Credit card. No problem. Ooh, there's a black hat. Right there in the middle of the road. That is the second black hat I've seen. I'm marked for death. But it actually walked from left to right. So I heard from left to right is good luck. And from right to left, it's bad luck when it comes to black hats. The one I saw last night was actually definitely from right to left. She looked at me too. She's like, oh, hell no, you going to get it now. And she went right to left. And she, then she just looked forward. She just disappeared. So, all right. Be my Valentine, Franco. Let's make a left here. And I'm trying to make a right. I'm trying to get to the other side of this place. This place is huge. This place is by far the biggest do you guys want to check out that one with the two flames? Sergio Gonzalez. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. You see the two flickering lights over there? Should it? Is it worth exploring? It's up to you guys. Chris, the uh, Taiwani W. Thank you for responding, Franco. I, I, I hope I did respond. Um, yes, let's check it out. All right, let's do it. Um, I'm going to leave the car on uh, <coughs> it's just by the time I close the door this car does this annoying honk thing when my engine's on uh, let's turn off these lights there we go see I don't like it that it does that Let me know if you guys do see something moving. I'm watching the comments. I'm keeping a good eye on it. Take your car with you. I can't take my There's graves here. Oh, really? Oh, I get it. That throws me off. It's the LED light. When I put the LED light close, it turns off. And then it turns back on. Brondi Phoenix, thank you so much. I appreciate it. That <laughs> freaked me out. <laughs> well, I don't know if there's... I think it's because of my light. See, if I turn off my light, they won't turn off. You see? But there's a, a solar panel at the top that detects my light and ba-ba. 
let's look around this area just in case I miss anything. Uh, there's a lot of flowers over there. All right, I'm gonna lock the car real quick. Hold on. Marco! No, this is dumb. I'm not going to say Marco. Because I feel like that guy's going to answer for me. Okay. I checked. Let's go back to the other area. <coughs> Sorry. Again, I am a little sick. Ronnie Phoenix, I am from Canada. Ever come to visit? Yes, I am planning on coming to visit. You have no idea how many times my friends up there tell me to go up there. I heard growling in my left ear, but about five minutes ago, um, five minutes ago from your video, not wearing headphones. Really? I didn't hear any, any uh, growling just yet, but, oh wow, yeah, you're right. We got a lot of people watching. Hi everyone. Thank you for watching Lips 106 Live Media Radio Station. We're slowing things down for you lovebirds out there by giving some soft, smooth jazz and safe for the little ears in the back seat with some Smarvin Gay and yeah, I'm done. <laughs> it's hard to do it with a stuffy nose. All the crazy accents. Wow, another Hondo. Okay, let us go to the creepy part. Let's say we did. Annoy the trash. Ugh. If you guys do see a lot of trash in the car, it's not that I'm messy. I have been sleeping in the car for like three days or two days. All right. Let's get to the creepy area. Bo Bonds is on fire. Um. Mm -hmm. I don't actually think it was from your video why I'm spooked. Oh, that's creepy. Be careful. Make sure it was even from your phone. It could be in the house. If you're in the house or in the car, wherever you are. Um, let's go this way. I can't believe I'm allowed to be in here. This guy literally told me. He was like, yeah, you could be in here, but if you leave, you can't come back in. So I'm like, all right, cool. That sounds peachy. He didn't even tell me what time I had to leave here at night, so I'm guessing I could be here for as long as I want. Now, I know that my internal battery could probably run up to about, uh, I don't know, like around 4 o'clock in the morning. No, I can't. I have to wake up the next day. Okay. I'm going to turn off. Oh, I can't. Oh, I could. But. This is where it gets creepier. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. All right. All right, guys. Give me one second. Before I continue, I'm going to check my super chat. Make sure I didn't miss anyone. Because that would be extremely rude of me. Um. All right, starting uh, music videos, Brandy Phoenix. Thank you, Brandy. Um, on behalf of those who have passed away, oh, thank you, Bobon. Bobon, thank you a lot. I appreciate that. Um, Brandy Phoenix, thank you again, Brandy. I am from, oh wait, I think I already read all these. Um, I heard growling to my left. This is for your courage. Thank you, Bobon. I really appreciate that. I'm trying, man. I want to get out of the car out here, but there's pe there's a guy out here. Well, there was three guys, but now I'm only seeing one. You're amazing and going big place in life. I hope so. As If I'm going somewhere, I just hope it's it's into one full-time job. Not not two, because this shit is... That, that, that's killing me. Um, Frank, I love you. I love you, Robo. Please don't walk over graves. It's considered disrespectful and can be a bad omen. 
I don't think I walked on any graves. If I did, I am extremely sorry. I agree, never walk on graves. But uh, if you did see me doing it, thanks for catching me on that. And that was not something should, anyone should do, is walk on graves. Um, I probably wasn't paying attention if I did. My apologies. Oh, dang it. I'm actually right at the area. Please pray for the people of Wuhan. Oh, my God, yes. Again, a big shout out from to Wuhan due to the whole epidemic thing that's going on. I can't believe... In fact, I couldn't get it out of my head because I was sick today as well. But, um, yeah, that it's terrible. It is terrible, and I hope things get better. And I can't believe that they were saying on the Internet that it's going to happen like every winter or whenever it gets... Yeah, every time it gets close to winter, um, it could come back again. All right, you guys are back, I think. Oh, it's pointing at my face. Oh, point in front of me. There we go. Lost you guys for a second. See, this is where I want to take you guys to. It's right inside here. But the problem is... Is that there's somebody... Oh, shit. You see? Look, look. He's coming back again. Look, 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 look. He's right over there. You see? Look at this. You see the guy? He's walking right in front of the car. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Hey, bud, you, is it okay if I explore around here? Is it all right if I explore around here? Yeah, I don't mean to bother you. All right, sorry to bug you, man. Yeah, fuck that. I'm not exploring shit. <laughs> you see, I told you. I told you. I can't go. I can't do a video tonight. Oh, my God. I'm too small. It's only me. I have to go with somebody else next time. <sighs> He's like, can you explore? Okay. And I was like, no, screw that. I don't want to do it. I changed my mind. That's too freaking creepy. I don't even feel comfortable being around this area now. This is like the really creepy part, but he won't leave. He's still here. He came at me before. Oh, I, I want to just jet out of here. Creepier. Oh my god. You need to visit a Native American cemetery on the reservation. I should. Should visit a Native American. Time to split, Franco. Honey, you're really, it is very dangerous. Yeah, I'm not I'm not doing it. That guy, he stood in front of the car and stared at me. And then he wasn't expecting for me to say anything to him. And now he ah, oh, screw that. But look at this, it's so beautiful. Oh my god. Hyro's gone. I can't get Hyro to do a video with me. To even just for safety to be with me um i know christian won't do it and it's too much of a far drive dang it my father was right about me i'm a failure i'm just kidding he, didn't, he never said that but i'm not yeah I, I may be courageous i might do some crazy stuff but i definitely am dumb i'm not gonna do that I'm not going out there And he's running around this place. He feels like he owns this place. And you know what? He probably does. I'm not doing it. I'm in New Orleans. This is not even my hometown. I don't know how it works out here. <sighs> Dang it. I feel... I, I'm upset because I really wanted to take you take you guys here. Hey, thank you, Bon Bon. Bo bon I appreciate it, man. I, I just feel like... Oh, I know, I know. I'll put my seatbelt on. I appreciate it, man. I just kind of feel like I'm I'm upset because I really wanted to explore this place. And I can't do it. But now with this guy running around me like in circles, that guy looked like he could kick my butt too. He'll put me through a, a roof or through a, a marble wall because everything here is crips. That was terrible. But, yeah. Damn it. 
and he's running around too. I know he's running because he was jumping up things and stuff and marking his territory. And not too long ago, there was gunshots here too, around this area. Frank, me and my mom, Dagmar, love you. Oh, thank you so much. I love you guys too. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, I don't know what to do now. I'm probably going to just go up there. I'm not going to do a nighttime video here. This would be perfect and it would be amazing. But if I want to have any luck continuing doing videos in the future, especially different places all around the world, I need to play it smart here, especially when I'm in the dangerous spot where I can easily get shot. Uh, this town here isn't the best. And from what I was told, there are like uh, gangs here that do hang out in the graveyards. I'm not saying that guy is a gang member. For all I know, he could probably be the nicest guy and maybe he's just a little misunderstood. But I'm not buying it. I'm not going to play that. I'm not going to play those cards and bet on it. But uh, I'm sure you guys understand. But I'll show you guys a cool... Uh... <sighs> Damn it, man. Hold on. I can't read the chats. I'm just trying to find a good, safe place to park. I don't even feel safe looking at the phone right now because... That guy freaked me out. <coughs> Alright, I'm going to turn the phone around here. Oh, well, there's a sign that says no parking. I'm not going to do it. I'll probably do it over here. turn around here all right guys now I am looking at the chats go to another cemetery you're awesome no disappointments be careful My fans will wait for you <laughs> thank you I appreciate it go to Holt um, we just love to hear what you're up to don't worry Carry mass, go up the street to Potter Cemetery. Lens. Wow, my I just looked at myself on my phone and my face looks so swollen. I'm all congested. Don't touch your phone. Nobody touch your phone. If you're watching me on the TV, just don't get too close to your TV. You might get sick. Because I am. Oh my god. I'm actually hiding it, but there's tissue everywhere. It's terrible. <laughs> I've, I've been driving. I've been driving. It's been nonstop. Um, be safe, Franco. Go to the haunted hotel. Go to a haunted hotel. Um, Franco, let's get likes and please don't stop. Appreciate it. Uh, ciao, Marco. You. Hi, Frank. Take care always. Frankaholics from Philippines. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Ciao, Marco feel better oh i feel i feel a lot better i took so much drugs here i got nasal spray see that um i got some this actually helped me out a lot this it's actually uh i don't know what it is i just bought it because it said congestion and stuff like that and then yeah all right let me i don't should i come out here and show you guys there we go Let's go out of the car for a little bit here. I'm, I'm kind of far from where that guy was. But if I had any chance that this guy probably thought maybe I worked here, it definitely went out the window. Especially I'm over here asking him for permission if I can explore. Really, Frank? Explore? I didn't know what to say. That guy stared at my car. I thought he was going to shoot me or attack me. So the one thing is I didn't want to come off like a threat. You know? He's like, what? You want to explore? Yeah, man, you could explore. Yeah, I'm not falling for that one. Love you, Franco. When are you coming to Oregon? Soon. Oh, my God. I saw a picture of Oregon. <gasps> and you guys have this smoke trail coming down from the mountains. That looks so beautiful. But this is a mausoleum. I actually went into it earlier today. I'm pretty sure it's closed. I'm not going to try to open up the door. 
I'm not going to call the police because the thing is, is that if I have permission to come here, who's to say that he doesn't? And, uh, yeah, it's just, it, it's, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just, there's a lot of, uh, how do you say it? It's, it's a lot of weird politics that takes into place what you can and what you can't do. Don't call the police. I'm not going to call the police. <laughs> But then they're going to be like, well, who did you get permission from? I was like, I got it from the supervisor here. In fact, I spoke to him right there. <laughs> and he told me I was okay. Oh. Well, that escalated quickly. Unless I could probably go back to the other cemetery. See other graveyards down there. See, there's another car light down there. Hi, Stephanie. See, there's another random car light over there. I'm trying to debate what I should do. And they're reversing. You want to explore? I still got the guy's voice. Did you guys hear what he was saying on the thing? I'm just going to sit here next to my car. Not be suspicious in any way. You guys didn't hear what he said? Okay, you did. Captain and Sandra. Uh, Cap uh, I'm sorry, not Captain. Caprino. Yeah, he was like, I, I I said something to him real quick. I shined the flashlight. I didn't shine it at him to blind him. But I asked him if it was okay if I could record. And then he was just like, um, he was like, what? You want to you wanna record? I mean, not record. He's like, you want to adventure? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I felt a little insecure after he said that. This guy's coming up close to me. He's, uh, I don't know what he's doing. All right, cool. Yeah, he's gone. Filipino watcher, people, you can comment, but you can't, like, show some love. Oh, yeah, if, if you guys can. When are you coming to Chicago? Chicago? I haven't planned for Chicago yet. Well, I, I mean... There's a lot of places you guys are all asking me to go to. I want to go to every freaking place. What, what my plan is, is to just... I'm camping in here. Oh, I left my light on. I'm camping in the car. And, uh... I'll probably show you guys on the video when I post the video on how beautiful that place is. But I'm going to be camping in the car... I'm not going to get out of the car. Well, I'm going to get out of the car. But I'm going to be going from, I guess, each place that has a lot of history to it, like Salem. Uh, Salem has a lot of, like, the whole Salem witch trials I found. Um, I did speak to Mo. Mo said he has a whole ton of places that he would like me to check out with him, which I'm down. I need locations. I need, I need to find cool spots. And then, but for each state that I go to, I'm going to be spending, like, a week to two weeks or whatever if, if it if it looks interesting. And then, I'm also planning on being able to do fan meetups too with you guys. So for each day, wherever you guys are at, I could probably drop in and probably like seven or eight o'clock-ish, I'll go ahead and do a cool fan meetup for everyone. Right now, it's hard for me to do fan meetup. It's hard for me to do anything besides making videos. And that's morally due to the fact that I only have just enough time to record videos. Uh, if I don't, Record like I, I'm sick. There's a weird echo here. It's driving me nuts. But right now I'm sick, so <coughs> I had to come all the way out to uh, New Orleans because this is what I had planned. Like, I couldn't even relax. But I got better while driving and traveling over here. I think two nights ago it was pretty graphic. Yeah, it was pretty bad. I couldn't even sleep. It was terrible. But uh, then I sweated it out while well, driving, ironically. But that's that's my plan pretty much. So that way I could be able to interact with everyone. Why why not use thermal camera? I, I want to invest in thermal camera, but the thermal cameras are severely expensive. And what I'm trying to do is save up enough money to pay that car off. So that way if anything happens, or let's say my YouTube channel just goes up and they go skyrocketing down, which God hope it, it does not ever do that. But I understand things change you know um i want to be able to pay that car off in case of an emergency but also have that money in the bank saved 
so that way while I'm out traveling, it could, you know, survive. But in case anything happens, that's my safety plan. I don't want to get in, in debt. That was not never my plan. To, you know what I mean? I got to look out too. I got to survive. But Frank, you can't camp in your car there. You can't, oh, I'm not camping here. Screw that. Not after what I just saw. Now that I just thought about that, I'm a little bit nervous. I don't think he's going to follow me here because there's a lot of cars out here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm nervous. <laughs> I keep thinking I'm in Florida. I'm like, Frank, you are not in Kansas anymore. Um, get a thermal adapter for your phone. It's cheap. Yes, it is cheap. I've seen them. Whatever you want to do, we are happy with it. No, I gotta make sure whatever I do, you guys are gonna love it. I don't want to ever make crappy content. I, I know every YouTuber says this, and I don't want to be like every YouTuber. I want to be like me, but. If it's, if it's not awesome, it's not posting. It needs to be great. But, yeah. Salem, Massachusetts, yes. Come to Orlando. I, I live in Orlando. I'll be going back to Orlando on Monday. <laughs> Don't get involved with, oh, come on. You can't, you can't do that. Don't spread hate. Frank, please go drive through Lake, Lake Lawn. Drive through Lake Lawn? Uh, I could, but the thing is I need to open up my GPS on my phone and I don't know where I'm at. Like I literally got the GPS here to be here. The moment I leave out of here, I have to go to my GPS and it'll cancel out my live stream. Um, yeah. Everybody loves Josie. Franco, good. You are a sensitive. I've been told that a lot, that I am a sensitive. Um... In it's next door. All right, so I'm assuming you know where I'm at. It's look, New Orleans has some tough streets to drive in, but if I if I make a ah uh, no I'm not I I'll save it I'll save it I already I'm already a good hour and sixty minutes in this video. Um, let me see. Who is... Sp no, nobody's spreading hate. Nobody's spreading hate. It, it was something... It was dumb. It was nothing serious. Um, come to Savannah, Georgia. I've actually been to Savannah. And I probably should come to Savannah. I think I could probably do it next weekend, actually. If I find a cool place. I know you guys have some good graveyards. But it's hard to get those graveyards when I'm by myself. Wait until you see the video that I'm about to post out. You'll see why I say that. Because it is extremely hard. But Utah has some dope, scary places. Franco, send, sending you a shout out from East LA. Hey, Roshon, pre, pray, pray one. I think pray, pray one. I tried. Chrissy, where were you? Um, that's right. As YouTubers, we do our own thing also. Franco, you should go to a haunted lighthouse. There's one in Florida too, I, of a haunted lighthouse. I'll probably do a live stream there one day. I think it's live stream appropriate more than a video. Um, yeah. Ghost like rare sodas and fast food. Much love from Canada. Come to Iowa, Franklin. Uh, Iowa. Iowa sounds pretty good. Thank you, be safe. I gotta trim this mustache. This thing's like going into my nose and it feels weird. Do you guys want to go back to. I just didn't like the idea of that guy running around. And I think he was doing it to scare me off. And it worked. It worked. Oh, my God, I'm trying to figure out what to do now. I feel like I want to go back, but I don't want to go back. And every time I get to that pyramid-shaped structure, he comes out and he walks past me with a book bag. And he's scoping out the place. Sorry, I'm thinking. No, I would go back. But the thing is, I want to go back and get out of the car. I don't want to be stuck driving in circles around with a car. I wanted to go explore the inside. 
This guy's got me all messed up. Nope, stay on. Franco, you look so exhausted. That's because I just finished getting out of being sick. I've been pretty sick for a while. Franco, you're, you're close to French quarters, St. Carl. Don't go back. That dude is sketchy. I said, no, yeah, I know he's sketchy. There, there's little graves over here that I feel more safe for exploring. But I think that guy is very territorial. Because the way he approached it. If I would be safe. Thank you, Mika. Very territorial. Yeah, I know. I don't want that to... I don't want that to happen to me either. Let's go here. Keep being awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Let me go over here. Uh, I'm just... What's ringing in my head is... What that guy told me. What's that? You want to explore? Let's just drive around. I'm not going to get... Are you guys cool if I just drive around and I don't uh, get out of the car? Eyes on the road. No, yes. Yes. You haven't explored in Michigan. I haven't explored a lot of places yet. And you best believe I would if I could. Oh my god, that stupid stop sign. I just saw a stop sign. It scared the hell out of me. Alright. Let's see if this guy comes out with his friends this time. I mean, I came out nice. So I don't think he's going to come out threatening. Maybe the guy has like a, a mental illness or something. And he's not well. I ain't messing with that. And I'm not going to mess with that by myself either. He's probably looking for me. <coughs> no. I... Because I, the thing is, I don't know how it works around here. You want to explore? All right. Go ahead and explore. Like, he was waiting for me to come out of the car. Please, next amazing creative... Yeah. Yes, I def definitely got a lot of B-roll. And I think I'm going to put a lot of history into this video. Um, I'm going to turn off my high beams for now. I definitely got a lot of B-roll in this video. And I'm going to put a lot of history into it too. Kind of like a narration between the video. It's going to probably take me a minute to make. Probably two days. After this live stream. Maybe three days. Go to Amarillo, Texas. There are... There is an abandoned hospital in downtown that's like a mile away. Hope this helps you get there. That sounds awesome. Do you think I would have permission to go inside? As long as I can get permission, I am always down. I just don't feel safe with this guy. What was that? You want to explore? <laughs> that sounds so sketchy. Like, who says that? Like, like I did not feel comfortable at all. And he's over there hopping on the next tomb. He's hopping on tombstones or something. Yeah, you could explore. He's going to explore me. Screw that. I'm not meant to be explored. Take care of yourself. You missed it. There's some guy there's a guy out here running around. It's a it's a tall guy and he's running around and uh He's, he's, uh, he doesn't want me in a certain area in this graveyard, but that area happens to be the best place to explore anything. Like, that place is perfect. I have a pocket knife. <laughs> yeah, I know, I only have a pocket knife. That's why I'm not, I'm not going to get out of the car. I was about to run out of the car to go look inside there, but this guy literally ran out to me stand in front of the car which I was looking at my camera phone which didn't pick it up too well but he stands out 
And then he starts walking towards the car and then starts going towards the passenger car door. And I'm like, I point the flashlight out at him. He's like, you mind if I explore? But I, I don't know. Maybe he took that as a threatening gesture or he felt like I was trying to take over his territory. Which, I'm not even from around here. And then if he heard my voice, even more or less likely, he's like, yeah, I'm not a threat. Don't get me wrong. If I felt like my life was in danger, I, I mean, I probably might not make it at the end of it but I'm not going to go out without a fight not even fight I don't even know how I would react to that God I hope that would never come to that ever because that's not a, a good experience not that I've ever even been in anything like that <coughs> but you just kind of have to like figure out what your pros and cons are is it worth it let me twerk it let me stop down flipping and reverse it is your flippin' flippin' fam yet? Um, just popping in to say hi and always eerie on the side of the spooky if I go be okay. Thank you, Joanne Apple. I appreciate it. All right, keep your eyes peeled because I'm pretty sure this guy's going to come running out again. Cool. I'm not going back towards that pyramid tomb as much as I would love to. <clears throat> I'm going to make a left this time. Uh, hold on, guys. I'm just being very cautious. Oh, what I'm doing. Look at that tomb over there. You see it with the crypt? That one right over there. Is so beautiful. Here, maybe I could. Where's my flashlight? Look at that. I just heard some footsteps. What the heck was that? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I can't do it. I cannot do it. I heard something behind the car. And they sound like a knocking. I'm not, look at this. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my God. That could be me in there with an army of 15 people. Look at this. I, I can't get out of the car. There's somebody else here. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, but I think this guy. Oh shit, he's there. Look. Uh. I don't know what you're doing. Fuck that. Nope. I'm out. Guys, I gotta go. I'm not doing it here. This guy does not want me here. <laughs> oh, God. I'm gone. This guy's marking his territory. We're leaving. Oh, my God. 
I don't even think I'm going to come back after that one. This guy's got guts. He took off his jacket and everything. Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm not, I'm not. Now that's getting serious. I felt the tension in that one. Let's... How the hell do I get out of here? Oh, that's it right over there. Hold on. Uh, we're taking a shortcut. <laughs> Screw that. Oh my god. I got chased out of a graveyard. Hold on, guys. I'm going to go to a safe place because I can't focus now. I cannot focus. This guy chased after my car. This guy literally chased after my car. He hit the back of my car. Like I felt a handprint behind my, my, my handprint. I felt a hand hitting the back of the car. Bear with me, guys. I'm just a little bit... I got a couple of emotions going on here. Uh, I just got to get to a safe place. I don't even know where the hell I'm going. Don't go to New Orleans and check out a graveyard by yourself. Let me just... Oh, I got my high beads on. Let me just share that piece of knowledge with you guys. Do not do it. I wouldn't even... You could go during the daytime, but do not be there at night. I was warned about somebody. Somebody that I know warned me and told me not to come here at night by myself because you will get robbed in New Orleans, especially in the graveyards. Oh, 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 I found another graveyard. <laughs> Did I learn my lesson? No, no, I'm just kidding. I learned my lesson. Oh, but they're locked. The gates are closed. Dang it. There's this beautiful one right over here. Now, I'm not looking at the messages. I'm just holding my, my phone on the screen. I'm not... I would like to read what you guys are telling me. And I know you guys probably have a lot to tell me after what I just saw. Or what we've just seen together. Look at all these graveyards, oh my god. Um, those things are always recording, so I have to be very careful. And I thought that car was a cop car. I can't go there, the gates are locked. All the gates are closed there for the main entrance. Look at this one! <gasps> oh, any gates open? Let's see if the gates are open. Um, I don't know if that's open or not, but I'm going to make a U-turn and find out. Uh, next you turned. Oh my god, my heart was pounding. I didn't know if he was going to take out a gun or not. I hope my mom isn't watching that. And if she's in the chat and you guys see her, tell her I'm okay. Not to worry. Um, that one's closed, that gate there. I think I could go into this one here. gates um cemetery hours six to six okay i know <sighs> i feel like the guy's still chasing me i'm not gonna lie like i was like if you stand in front of the car and i have no way out i could literally say that i feel like well i can't say that my life is in threat but uh man you you you're, he's not putting himself in a good position to do that. <coughs> Towway zone. I'm not going to park there for too long. 
Uh, private property. Nope, that's enough said. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to find an area so I can talk with you guys. I'm a little nervous, too, and freaking out after what just happened. You can't blame me. I knew it was coming, too. I, I called it. I knew it was coming. It just didn't feel right and didn't sound right. I shouldn't even went back there. Hyro, now would have been a great time for you to be with me. God, that was so scary. That was freaky as shit. I'm probably going to trim this video down and just keep it to that. So that way it doesn't get too boring. I'm trying to find a place, guys. I'm trying to find a place here. Remember, I'm not even using GPS. I, I, I have you guys on, so I can't put the GPS on. Oh, do, 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 do. All right, I'll peek at the comments real quick. No, I'm not. Don't don't do that. I'm, I don't want to be a bad example. Come on. All right, I'm getting close to the historic side here. Let's make a quick right. seems to be a lot of people around here, so I feel a little bit more safer. That's somebody's house. This is a neighborhood. Peaceful little neighborhood. I bet you if I wouldn't have asked them anything the first time, and then the second time I went back, you would have been a little bit more cautious. But once I spoke to him, I felt like that just broke the ice for him. He was like, all right, I get it. Because don't get me wrong. It's illegal to say that you are like law enforcement. It's illegal. Don't ever do that. But it's not illegal if the guy has a perception you are just because you're driving a car that looks like one. Which I think that's why I kind of got away with there. Because he was like, wait a minute, is it? I don't know. Let me be cautious until I said something. Then it was, that just was like, yeah, no, you're not. Oh, that's a beautiful house. They're getting ready for Mardi Gras. All right, I'm going to park here for now in front of the fire hydrant because that's what I do. I'm kidding. I'm reversing. You don't want to block that. All right. All right. So what have we learned here today? <laughs> what do you guys think about what just happened? Oh, I didn't want to stop driving. I'm not going to lie. That, that creeped me out, let alone I got it on camera. I gotta start picking my live streams a lot more safely. I thought that was a perfect location. Everything seemed appropriate until I until I got to nighttime. <coughs> I got a Rambo knife. You can borrow, Frank. You should see the one I have in the car. It's it's it's. I got a. It's called a huntsman or a hunt down knife. It's like from this side of the screen to this side of the screen. Well, from my face to here. But, yeah, I think it's a good idea you stayed in the car. Yeah, I wasn't planning on getting out of the car. That was too much. That was that was creepy. You should do a fan meetup when out of town to explore, even though it's protection while you explore. We should. We should. Would, would you guys... Would you guys be down to meet up at a graveyard one day? But I got to see, because last time I tried to do, like, a fan meetup, Nobody showed up, probably because nobody lived around the area that I was at, which is understandable. I'm always out in the middle of nowhere. But I know, man, but first yourself. Yeah, you're right. You're definitely right. You probably interrupted a drug deal. He went up to my window to say something to me. Like... <laughs> And then he ran behind my car. Because when I was driving, if you pay attention to the video, when I stopped looking, I was like, look at all these places. Oh my God, it looks so beautiful. You could hear. That's what I heard. And I was like, did I hit something or was that something on my car? You could hear what sounded like. And that... That freaked me out, but I didn't want to tell myself that that was what I was thinking it was, just so I wouldn't scare myself. 
But then when I drove away and I turned around, I see him running back to my car. Nope. I'm not playing that game. Nope. That was too much. <laughs> I got a Rambo knife. <laughs> you can borrow. He wanted to sell you some drugs. I don't think he was trying to sell... Well, I mean... Anything's possible, but that was... He's got balls to do that. Maybe he thought you were the buyer. No. Do I look like a buyer? Do I sell... Well, I probably might come off. I will do a cool Italian voice, but I can't. I'm, I'm so congested. Stay safe, Franco. Number one Franco from Italy. Late to the party, Franco. Hell, one of those nights. Wipe your mouth and go home. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I'm gonna, I got to figure out what I'm going to do from here on out. I want to finish this video. Because I started it off here. I was hoping to have two videos. But.